Hi guys, welcome back to Gambits. We're going to be opening up Pathfinder's Darklands Rising series of figures. Um, let's just go ahead and dive right into this. Uh, just like always, I am going into this blind. I have no clue what is in this set other than the giant, giant figurine of Menkar, the Great Worm Gold Dragon, which I will actually show you guys later. Uh, that is a separate, oh my goodness, uh, large figure that we sell separately here at the store. Wow, I don't know what was in what one box, but it was freaking heavy. Uh, most of these boxes are so-so. Got some mediums, got some really light. Um, and there's in one box that I thought it was several pounds all on its own. Crinkle crackle, crinkle. That's out of the way. Oh my gosh, I'm going to see one, two, three. Oh, we have all four boxes on camera. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and start with box number one and get this one out of the way. We have a little dungeon crawler in the background, so if you hear him pip squeaking, just ignore. All right. Ooh, looks kind of like an ent for our first one. It's going to be clear bases like the other Pathfinder oversized set. Uh, we have an arboreal regent, so it looks like a king of some sort for a tree. Sorry. Ah! And there goes my box. I'm like, I planned on saving that box. Alright, we've got our three minis here. One. Oh, oh, even the baby ones are actually clear based. Interesting. The first, as far as I'm aware. Grab my box here. Star. Come back, come back. Okay. Toss you out of the way. Uh, we have, oh gosh, clear bases are so hard to read. A, you're in my light, sir. All right, a lurker in light. Seriously? Lurker in light. Okay, apparently that is indeed what that is. A lurker in light, which is a fae of some sort. All right, we have a hellspawn monk which that's pretty freaking cool and wow what on earth it's like a tengu warrior shooting out purple or belching out purple ooze uh we have a wow gummy a tengu jinx eater so he's actually not spewing it out he is ingesting it wow that is pretty freaking cool cool it's cool. Caw, caw. All right, Tengu, little crow guy. All right, all surrounding our giant arboreal regent. Box number two. I already like this set. These colors really pop. A um, little bit nicer, in my opinion, than the D&D &D figures, which I know, again, sacrilege to some. All right, we have, oh, this is seems semi-fragile here. I can pop him out without breaking his stem. Woo! That just went flying. All right, we have a scaveling, which j basically looks like a giant vampiric bat or the bat creature that Batman has to fight. All right. Oh, even though this is a one of the minis, he is just about the same size as the large piece sorry that I just opened up this giant little toad guy uh, you are a giant toad well I feel like I'm calling it tonight even though I haven't looked up anyone in this set I'm like oh it looks like this oh wait it is that ha -ha. go me I don't even know this is kind of creepy um Rykolaska no Rykolakas Shakalaka boom. All right. What else do we have here? Kind of a weirdly shaped, I don't know, piranha thing. This is a Grodair. Grody air. Yes, a Grody airfish. A Grodair. All right. Moving our new fun friends aside, uh, we'll get on to our next box here. I don't mind me. I like to have fun with these names. All right. We have a decently heavy box here so this should be a slightly substantial figure 
and my goodness, yes, you are a quite large, substantial. <gasps> what are you? Be still my heart. Um, you are Shoggoth, number 50 of 50. Okay, this piece I actually just have to show off right now. What the flippin' hey? This is sick unreal it looks like something Thulu-esque as well as something from that old Wii game was it a Wii? No I think it was actually a Nintendo GameCube game uh, of course my brain fails me right now I can't remember the name of the game I will have to uh, get back to you on that one that is freaking crazy Oh my gosh, that might be the big piece in the set, but holy crab cakes. I really, really like that. It is disgustingly awesome. Alright, what else do we have? We have a, another boggly type thing. We have a, oh my gosh, so hard to read, a deep gnome scout. Interesting, with his little bandana on. He's all, oh, ready for COVID. How cute. All right, we have a, another Tengu here. We have a Tengu bard. Looks like a Japanese fan dancer. And then we have, it uh, looks like a drow. Uh, it is a drow. We have a drow fighter with crossbow. So this is a variant of, I'm assuming the other one is going to be another fighter of some sort. Uh, we'll definitely do close-ups on this later. We'll get our creepy, creepy, badass, pardon my French, piece in the back here. Alright, moving on to a super light box again. But again, super light does not mean awful, as you can see by some of these other pieces. Alright. Ooh! Kinda like what I see. Ooh! Let go, let go, let go! Box on fire! Alright. Open, open. Do not break the tail. Ow. Don't stab me either. Alright, lots of fins on this bad day. Uh, we have a flesh warp uh, gonatine. Really? Gonads to you too. Alright, basically a creature of the uh, Black Lagoon here. Lots of fins and spines and very, very cool looking. I what the heck is that thing? Okay, uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Ooh, very pretty purple. Very corally looking. Alright, open, open. Looks like another drow of some sort. And I don't know. What is this bug thing? Ooh, it's like a beetle. That's really pretty. That's really, really pretty. Okay, we'll save that one for later. Alright, we have... Oh gosh, light, don't fail me. Fun, 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 fun. What are you? Oh my goodness gracious. What the heck? Fun. Wow. Okay, you know what? I'll have to pause and get back to you on that one. The light is terrible on these clear bases. Uh, this is a cool piece. This is a drow rogue. Oh, she's not going to last long. She is pretty, pretty cool looking. All right, and we have the very shiny beetle here. This is pretty, pretty awesome. It is a giant stag beetle. Uh, the colors, though, are not typical of a Heracross. Um, so, a little Pokemon reference there for you guys. All right, moving on to another light box. I know I get excited about some of these figures sometimes, but like I said, this is why I like some of the Pathfinders figs better than the D&D &D figs just because the color schemes are so much more vibrant than the D&D &D ones. And, um, hello, beautiful, what are you, little follower of Lulz? In this case, it's a D&D &D piece. Alright, we have a Flesh Warp Drow Abomination. Yes, a follower of Lulz. Alright, um... Oh my gosh, are you what I think you are? Open, open, open! We are... No, you are not. You are a... Find the light, find the light. Periton? Paris Hilton? What? What are you? 
A periton, yes. Basically, a wolf, rooster, eagle, horse. I don't know what kind of combo you are. I'm going to look you up. A cockatrice on drugs. All right. Moving on to another piece here. What are you? Another drow, it looks like. Uh, you are a hollowborn rogue. Another rogue in this set. That's actually really cool. So not actually a drow, but drow-esque. We have, I'm guessing, a giant naga or serpent of some kind. Uh, we have a emperor cobra. Ooh, nice big tss -tss. Good battle scene right there. Rawr. Do it out, guys. Do it out. All right, moving our other friends aside. We have another light box. Fun, fun, fun. All right, open, open, open. Oop, our big, I think, has shifted out of its base. Move those out. Let go, friend. I see you in there. There we go. All right, we have... Ooh, very pretty piece here. Who are you, young lady? You are a wood giant. A wood oversized elf. Green, otherwise I would say you were from Avatar. Alright, we have another hollowborn rogue to go with our other one. So we got our first double in the set here. Let's go with our little teeny tiny friend here. Teeny tiny friend, come join us. Let's play! Okay, uh, we, <laughs> we have a deep gnome warrior. So we have a warrior and is a female gnome warrior to go with our other gnome. Alright, and last but not least out of this set, we have a giant hyena, it looks like, that is a, a lucrata. Which, I do love me a good Lucrata. Not gonna lie. That is really cool. That's like a warg and a hyena mated and had a child. Okay. Moving on, we have the heavy box and we have the heavier box. Holy bananas, that's the heavy one. We'll save the heaviest one for last here. So we've got two heavy boxes right here at the end. Which is always fun, which means I have more giant pieces for the table. Holy crap, what are you? You are big. <gasps> what are you? Oh, can we keep this? It's so cool. It's so cool. Okay, sorry, I'm getting stupid excited. This is the back of the piece, which, you know, webs, you know what this is. Dun dun dun! That spider is wicked cool this is a lang spider um oh this base is not not super secure on here i need to be careful with this uh, i have a feeling that's probably gonna pop off at some point unfortunately um there's a little bit of spittle drooling down right here which we will focus more on later move this piece into the back yeah this is so heavy it's actually angling forward off the base um, holy bananas. I do love the big, big that we opened up first. Um, but wow, that piece is cool as well. Ooh, what are you? A little clear jelloy dough thing thing. And thing caught in bag. Okay. Everybody out! Okay. Ooh, everybody's kind of bent in this one. That spider kind of bent everybody out of shape. Alright, we have a... Do, do, do! And Attic Whisperer? Uh, yeah, an Attic Whisperer. Um, I don't even know. It's kind of a Dobby creature, but bent sideways as I drop the poor creature. There we go. Leaning over quite precariously on the base. Alright, friend goes down there. We have... A thing I have a hard time reading. Giant, a giant amoeba. Okay, that's what that is. 
It's basically a giant blob of jello or a bundt cake. So we also have our last piece here in this box, which is a nail piece, Alivra Azrene, uh, which unfortunately is also very, very bent. Uh, looks like a cool vine whip though they've got going on. I'm gonna have to put them over here and have them in the limbo. We'll get back to them later. And we've got the heaviest box in this brick. And oh my gosh, what are we gonna get next after these two giant pieces we've already had? This literally takes up the whole box in here. Trouble getting this friend out. Oh my, <gasps> what are you? Oh, I think we got the adamantine golem. Toss this box. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, so if you find the heaviest box you can possibly find, I'm betting you are getting this steampunk adamantine golem. Um, if we are able to order more of this set, I think we're probably just going to have to. This one is super, super cool. I hope you guys like this set as much as I am liking this set. This is so pretty. All right, we have last three little friends here. Woo, a leprechaun. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right, all my bubble wrap saved. We have a very unhappy lady. Uh, we have a drow priestess. Uh, that would explain why she does not look happy. All right, where did Mother Drow go? Come, friend, chill over there. All right, we have what the creepy hag thing are you? Uh, we have an Erdfan warrior. Yes, a very creepy hag thing. Sliding over, and then we also have a leprechaun, which is exactly what you would think a leprechaun looked like. I gotta go pause here, and uh, we will see you in a moment when we zoom in. All right, here we are. Uh, see if I can zoom in a little closer as I smack the. Friend. All right. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and rotate you. Okay, we're a little too far back. There we go. Now we can see most, if not all, of our friends. We'll slide a few over here so we can get most of everybody in there. Okay. Um. Do do do. Good old little rats. Grab the toad back over here in front of our Shoggoth. There we go. Now we can see see our fun friends that we opened up. We're just going to focus on a few key pieces here. Try to keep it pretty short tonight. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and drop our fun backdrop right in. Do, do, do. Hide our friend. Okay, so obviously we're going to get to our big, big friend here. This was the heaviest piece of the set. We uh, weighed him in, what was it, at 11 ounces. Um, and uh, he is heavy. Uh, light doesn't quite catch right with this black background because he is also a darker piece, but super, super cool. Um, let's go ahead and also grab our giant fun friend, the crazy cool spider here with the amazing webs on the back there. Own little separate piece that just holds up really, really well. Go ahead and get a close up here on the body itself and the head. But uh, there we go. Definitely see the eyes there on the bottom and the drool coming down off the side is really, really a cool piece. All right. And we also had, though he was a medium sized piece, we had our stag beetle. I just really, really enjoy the color on this piece. Just the way the limes, the purples, the yellows all blend together to make for a fun, life-size beetle friend. We also had our wood 
giant, which does look elfin. She has a very, very sad expression on her face. Very hard to show on camera right now. It doesn't want to zoom in on that sad, sad face of hers. Zoom in, please, friend. Come on. Come on. Oh, well. Well, it was worth a shot. Well, start focusing on my thumb instead. All right, we're well, moving on. One last piece. Oh, who shall it be? Oh, let's go. Even though I love Shoggoths, uh, we're going to go ahead and go with our... What were you? I apologize. We were upside down. We had... The Flesh Warp Drow Abomination. So, Spider and Flesh. There we go. We have our drow combined with a very creepy spider. So, fun, fun pieces. And there we are. Go ahead and let you guys see all of those again. Throw him back in the corner. We have all of our fun friends here from the set that we opened. And then as a special surprise, I did mention at the beginning of the video, Menkar, the great gold, um, the worm gold dragon. And that is <laughs> this fun friend here. And just for scale, we're going to put our wood giant right next to him. He is ginormous. I wish the lighting were better. And you can see through the plastic better. And my camera skills leave much to be desired. But that is our fun friend. Come see him in store if you are able to do so because he is definitely worth the view. So that was our opening of Pathfinder Darklands Rising. Subscribe if you'd like to see more openings like this and other D&D and Pathfinder openings. Uh, hope to see you next time and have a good night.